Hello everyone, welcome to the next session on Answers Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are going to analyze this problem of fluid mechanics. This is analysis of hydrostatic pressure on a curved surface. So let's first read the problem. Figure below shows a gate having a quadrant shape of radius 2 meter. Find the resultant force due to water per meter length of the gate. Find also the angle at which the total force will act. So it's given that this radius is 2 meter. The width of this quadrant shape gate is 1 meter. So the third dimension will be 1 meter here. I need to calculate the forces Fx and Fy which are acting on this surface. Now that is already done here with the help of the formulas. As you already know, for curved surface, the formula is rho g a h bar. When you substitute the values, you get the answer as 19620 Newton. And for F y, it is a weight of water supported by the curved surface up to the free liquid surface. So according to that, when we use the formula of rho g v, v stands for volume. So rho g can be substituted and the volume is pi by 4 r square into the width and you get this answer over here. So I want to just check that if I use the formula of fx and fy, I get some answer and if I use hydrostatic pressure in static structural, which we have already discussed one problem of tank. Similarly, if I want to do it for this one, do I get answers which are close? The answers that you get here will be accurate one because it is a numerical analysis and the answers that you get to answers will be close so you can just tally the answers so we will start by going to answers workbench we'll go to static structural and double click on it i am directly going to start with geometry so I'll go to new design modular geometry. Units I'll leave it to meter because the values were given to me in meter itself. I'll go to XY plane, look at. Next I'll go to sketching and I have to draw the quadrant of a circular gate. So I'll choose circle. I'll give it dimension of 4 meter. The radius is 2 meters, so the diameter is 4. Next, I'll go to draw and choose line. I'll now go to modify and use the trim option. This is the quadrant. Next, I'll go to extrude and I'll select the sketch. Apply. I have to add material. The width or the depth, as you see here, is 1 meter given in the question. I'll now generate. So, this is how the geometry would look like. Next, I'll go to model and double click on it. I'll go to mesh. I'll change the sizing from coarse to fine and update. Next, I'll go to analysis setting and I'll insert fixed support. If you read the problem, you can see that the force is being applied on this side. So I will choose this side as fixed as you can see here.
Next, I'll choose this surface and I'll insert hydrostatic pressure. I'll give the density of fluid as 1000 for water. Hydrostatic acceleration, I'll change vector to components. Along the y axis, the value is 9.81 meter per second square. And I want to choose the position of y. So let me give this as zero point zero one meter. Next, we'll go to solution and insert deformation directional deformation total. strain, stress and the most important is the value of reaction. So I will go to probe and I will choose force reaction. It will be at the fixed support. I go to solution and solve. This is the directional deformation value. You can animate and see the result. Total deformation over the body. This is the elastic strain. The value is 6.45 will raise to minus 7, which means it's very less. This is the stress. And last is the force reaction, which is the most important for us. You can see here along the x axis, the value is 19 kilonewton. Let me check with the solution, it is 19 kilonewton. Now, if you understand here, this direction of fx is towards the body. When you see here, it is showing on the other side. And along the y axis, the value is 31 kilonewton. According to this solution, I get the value as 31 kilonewton approximately. The z direction force here is something that we don't calculate in theory, but you can also check the value of this resultant force. It is 36 kilonewton here, and also here I have got the value as 36 kilonewton. So this verifies three results of fx, fy and fr. So that's how you can use this technique of hydrostatic pressure using static structural module and you can calculate the hydrostatic pressure on a curved surface. You can tally the answer using the numerical solution which is easily available in the theory. Now, only these negative signs would be a doubt that is, it is showing the effect on the water and when we calculate using numerical technique, it will be giving positive answers, which means it will be the effect on the surface. Here, the effect is maybe by the surface on the fluid. So, that is why you are getting these kind of results. So, just the direction will be different, but the magnitude should be the same. So with this, I end the session. I hope you have understood how to analyze a curved surface which is under hydrostatic pressure using the static structural module. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.